Hello YouTube, quality knife sharpening here in the Wolf Den. You know, I was just sitting my lazy boy watching YouTube and I was watching videos about OTF knives out the front. And one thing that I really came to an epiphany is that you can spend so much money on these OTF knives. Right here is a Microtech 100% Genuine Microtech Ultratech Single Edge Blade Show 2022 DLC Standard DLC Hardware. I don't think China is making Blade Show 2020 Microtech Ultratechs. I bought this because I was sort of, hey, let me try one of these $300 knives out. They're, they're more than that now. They're more than that. And all the Blade Show 2020s are probably gone. Probably there might be some Blade Show 2023s left. I do not know. If you're in the knife world and you're in the OTF world, this video is for you. I mean, yeah, it's nice. This is really a nice OTF. I'll, gr I'll give you that. But, and I can make it, I've got an absolute, absolute screaming, screaming edge on here. Because sitting right here next to me is the Wicked Edge Gen 3 Pro. So I don't have to worry about sharpening this knife because I do it and I do it for other people. So I'm sitting around thinking, I, I carried this for a while. There's a little scuff on the plate on the belt or pocket clip. Never really carried it in a pocket clip. I carried it in a scout carry elastic band on my belt. And, you know, this is an over $300 knife. And it's got the fancy super steel and all this stuff. But as I even commented on one guy who was not saying you need it, but he was saying there's steels that are just plain good enough. Because really, I'm not out taking this knife and skinning or gutting a moose with it. It's just for every day, little cuts here and there. And I, I haven't even really used this much because I just put that, that screaming edge on there. Let's see how screaming it really is. This is actually mylar, so this is thinner than paper. Okay, thinner than paper. Okay, so this is a Mylar waterproof pad. It's not even paper. So, people complain about how hard it is to push and all this. So, this got me started, of course, in OTFs. But, do I need this? No, I don't need this. And unless you're, you know, kind of a collector or you're really... You got a bunch of high, high dollar knives. I don't see anybody really using this for its potential. That's the whole deal. And the, the reason I'm doing this video is here is a $35 Lightning Elite. Mystery China Steel. Everybody says it's 440. Who the hell knows? I like this more than this. Me personally, I like this more than this. Number one, when I got this, let me put it down the microphone here. 
and I guess they all do this, that the switch rattles for $300. I did another video called my $300 rattling knife. I mean, why? And then I can't even get in here if I want to take it apart and clean it. And I cannot tell you how many times this thing has misfired on me. And I had to actually figure out a better way to clean it than everybody says. I would take the tube on the end of brake parts cleaner. Them, it's a, you know, basically, basically brake parts cleaner is nothing more than acetone under pressure. And I would take the tube that you stick in the, in the spray can and I would stick it in here and spray up and then I'd spray down and I'd hold it and spray and let it wash everything out. And if you don't know what I mean by misfire, this is a misfire. All right. I would push the button and the blade wouldn't come out. It would do this. Boop. And that's all it would do. So all you do is you pull it, of course, and get it back on track. But it would do it all the time with just a little dust in there. And like, I'm not even putting this in my pocket. So I don't even, I mean, it's not even pocket lint. It's air. I don't know. So then after I sprayed it with brake parts cleaner, I don't want it to get gummy in there. So I'm not putting any kind of petroleum other product in here. I would shake it and wipe it and shake it and flick it in and out and wipe it and everything. And then I do the same thing with some dry silicone spray. And I'd stick the tube up here and I'd sh 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 and shake it out. I even hung the knife upside down like this. Dry silicone spray. It, it, it dries quickly without any goop. What are we looking at here? Well over $300 now, I believe. I mean, the Blade Show 2020 is definitely, you know, a once a year kind of thing, right? And then the lightning. I've had this for two weeks and it is not once misfired on me. Not once. And you can see the reason I got this lightning is I have a, an affinity to these blades. Now, of course, this is DLC coated, blah, 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 all fancy. And it's going to be super durable. And this could be paint. Who knows? There's so many mysteries going on with a $35 China knife. Okay, a China knife. Number one, it's easier to, to push the slide. This is extremely difficult. But then again, I don't have, my, my thumbs aren't pussified like all these other guys that I oh, oh, it's hurting my thumb, right? Because the jimping on here is extremely aggressive. And they do that for gloves, I'm sure. Microtech does that for a reason. I'm not poo-pooing Microtech. I'm just saying that this right here, I really don't need. And I actually like this lightning better. This here is like a Tesla super truck or something. This is a this is a Dodge Ram 750 horsepower pickup truck. That's what this is. And this over here is like the Dodge 2500 that I drive every day. It's just utility. My truck has no electric windows, no electric seats, no nothing. It's plain Jane white plumber's truck. And it works like a champ. That's what this is. And 
I find it grippier because it, it fills my hand better than this. I mean, they do this here, but it's not, in my opinion, it's not in the right places. Look at this. I got, there's nothing under my index finger to grab this. Okay, you gotta push down and out. Well, this has got, if you wanna call that jimping on the so-called aluminum handle, and my finger right here grabs very well. And I don't have to push as hard. I can take it apart whenever I feel like it. And like I said, what do I need? I thought I needed it, but what do I need? Some kind of absolute super steel. I got a Gen 3 Wicked Edge sitting here right next to me, right here. Okay. I can tune up a knife. Here's what I've, in the two weeks that I've been EDCing this, in the same elastic scalp carry band around my belt, I have cut mm, three Amazon packages. I mean, that's what I said to this guy on YouTube. I said, you're not out gutting a moose and skinning it, and you're not going to do it with that knife in the first place. So, the super steel and all, all it's doing is driving up the cost. And when I got it, it did not have that mirror edge. I did that. I actually did that. And what I actually found is one side was a little off of the other when it came to the when it came to the edge angle. This I got it. I put it in my Wicked Edge Gen 3 Pro. I dialed up to 20 degrees. I double checked it. I didn't even put my I didn't even put my angle cube or anything on it to even see what it was. I just ran it reprofiled it I guess from about a hundred grit one or two hundred grit up to about I think I did almost three thousand on this this has to be the sharpest this is the sharpest lightning elite in America it fills my hand better everything this is very thin it just fills my hand better the blade the blade lengths aren't all that much different a little half a little half out uh half inch i don't need a glass breaker i really don't need that glass breaker i mean i'm not rolling my truck over every week I'm not in the I'm not in the, the uh, bumper cars crash derby in Jacksonville, Florida here. So I just wanted to put this out for the OTF knife crowd that in all reality, my this Dodge truck right here, I like it better than this Tesla super truck or you know uh, the super dodge ram or the this is a this is a ford raptor this is a ford raptor okay this is a this is the the most decked out chevy pickup truck you'll ever ever see i mean you can step it on up but who can usually afford that at least most people can afford you know something i sold a bunch of knives and i bought this and i figured Buying a Blade Show 2022 is not going to be ever considered a knockoff. Here's the bag it came in, inspected by JM. Right? So I am actually selling this knife right now. I'd like to get to 60 for it because I'm going to have to take PayPal, which is going to give me a fee. It's going to give me a fee um, 
then I'm going to ship it to you most likely for free. Well, in that 10 extra dollars, I'd like to go away with 250. Here is the brochure. Everything's there. I know they knock these off left and right. And that's why the problem is again, another issue with a microtech is nobody wants to believe it's real. Right? 100% made in America. Right? Nobody, nobody wants to believe it's real because they're knocking these off over in China like absolute crazy. But you know what? If I ever got sick and tired of this and I bought it for 35 bucks, I could sell it for 25 especially after I put an edge on whatever this steel is. Okay. I, I got an edge on this thing that is absolutely unbelievable. All right. I mean, we're talking, I, you want to, I actually whittled hair with this. And of course I whittled hair with this. So if you're interested, it's um, March 25th, 2023 right now. My email, and you can contact me all the time in the video description below. If you're interested, and I even have another LUDT Microtech that's never been carried, never nothing, it's lived in the box. I'm getting rid of that one too. I'm going to go back to my roots because what I actually say is this knife here reminds me of 1974, 1975, 1976. This was the steel even in America. And if I had something like this back then, I believe every kid should have had something like this. Instead, I probably had a you know, I know what I had. I had a knockoff buck is what I had. I had a Japanese buck type lockback. I still have it today. I'll never get rid of it because it was my first one, even though it wasn't a buck. And I have a video about how I even chose that. But that's what this is. And you know, it did us just fine back then. 440 stainless. 440C, 440A, 440Z, 440B. I don't know. I'm not a metal guy. All I know is the price for this is because of the way they make the handle, the machining, the printing, the coating, and the steel of the blade. That's the reason that this is a high price knife. And that's the reason this one from China isn't. But this has got more of a handful filling. I could take it apart. It has not skipped a beat for me since the day I got it. Watch one, just one finger can hardly do that with this. So as I'm selling this, I guess I'm not selling it. I don't know what I'll do with it, but it's just going to be in the box. Had a guy already on the Hull Truth message board offer me 200, but he's, I mean, I don't think it's worth taking $125 off of this. He's looking for some kind of garage sale deal. I might as well hang on to it if I'm going to give it away, you know, but I'd like to have 250 clear out of this. I have the receipt from the knife center up in Virginia, the online dealer, I have the receipt for this exact to show you if nobody believes it of what I paid for it. And then you can see what they are today. I got this one. Actually, I got two of them off of Grindworks. They really specialize in kind of these type of knives, cheap China knives, and they've they sell out so quick of various ones that are a step up from this one even. But I don't really, I don't need a step up. 
I'm not out gutting a moose. I'm just cutting some shit. So there you go. That's just one knife lover's opinion that sharpens knives. That's just one opinion of just one guy. So I was thinking this is 35. This is probably 325. So if we just round it off, I could buy 10 of these for this right here. And these actually are $5 more than just the plain Lightning. This is the Lightning Elite. And the only thing people talk about is how it's got a little more of the jimping here. It's got a little nicer finish. And when you go like this, you don't hear twang. You don't hear the spring rattling inside. It's very quiet. So there you go. One man's opinion on budget and high dollar OTF knives. So thanks for watching. And if you're interested, like I said, I got stuff for sale because you know what? I can live life without it. At one point, I didn't think I could, but I've come to the realization now. I can. But there's guys out there who were wanting it. So, you know, hey, I, I don't, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. I was one of those guys. Thanks for watching. This is Quality Knife Sharpening at Captain Dave Sport Fishing, Jacksonville, Florida.